Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com with a quick tip for you today on how to change the Windows registered owner and organization info. What you normally will see is something along this lines here and it will say who it's licensed to and what organization if you have it. Now you might want to add the organization, change it, remove it, you can change it all around any way you want. To find out what you got, just press the Windows key plus X on Windows 10. You want to open the command prompt or PowerShell and all you have to do now is type in W-I-N-V-E-R and a window will pop up. It'll tell you your build number, whether you're pro, home, etc. And as you can see here, its product is licensed to Windows user. So let's get to work on that. Press the Windows key plus R and open regedit by typing in R-E-G-E-D-I-T and pressing OK. Once that is up, I'll have this linked here in the video description. Highlight this text right here in bold. This right here. And then you right click and copy. And open registry editor again. Clear this line out right here. Press control V. And hit enter. There we go. There is current version. And as you scroll down to the right side you will find both the registered organization and the registered owner. As you can see here says Windows user just like you just saw. Double click that. What you want to do is change the value data. So let's change it to Major Geeks. And then registered organization. You can literally change it to anything you want. Now if you don't see the changes immediately you'll need to reboot. But you should see the changes right away. So let's take a shot at it here by bringing up the command prompt again typing winver again and there you go there's my name there's my organization simple as that pretty easy right now if you don't want to play with the registry we understand a lot of people don't you can scroll to the bottom of this article and there is MCO OS license modifier which will let you do it and the ultimate Windows tweaker from Windows Club for Windows 10 or Windows 8 there you go pretty easy to do only took a couple minutes in the video any problems just slide back on the video and follow back through and just come to the guide and follow the screenshots and the text everything is highlighted for you if you have any problems and anything beyond that you can always leave a comment down here we read all the comments and respond and help when we can as always thanks for watching hopefully we'll see you next time